Banks County Schools is using Google Meet for all video conferencing with students. This allows us to restrict users to the Banks County domain and best protect your students. If you're going to join a Google Meet, the first thing you need to do is install the Google Meet app. Student devices are not allowed to access the App Store, but instead will use the self-service app to install all approved applications for their iPad. To quickly find the self-service app, gently pull down on the middle of the iPad screen and begin to type self-service. The self-service app will appear under applications. Tap it to launch it. Scroll down to find Google Meet and hit install or reinstall. After you've tapped install, you can hit the home button to return to the home screen. Swipe to the left and wait for Google Meet to finish installing. To access the correct Google Meet, first you need to launch Google Classroom. Find Google Classroom by gently pulling down on the middle of the screen of the iPad and typing in Google Classroom. Google Classroom will be underneath the Applications window. Tap it to launch it. Each classroom that your student is a part of has a unique Google Meet address. Tap the class for the Google Meet that your student needs to join. Today, we're going to tap on Language Arts. In the top right-hand corner, tap the camera icon to join the Google Meet. Because this is the first time we've launched Google Meet, you'll need to make sure that your student is signed in with their Banks County email address, and then tap Activate. Press OK to allow Google Meet to access the camera on your iPad. Tap OK to allow Google Meet to access the microphone on your iPad. Tap the microphone button to mute your microphone before you join the meeting. Now tap Join. Tap anywhere on the screen to access the Google Meet menu. Starting at the bottom on the left, we have the Leave Call button, the red phone. You'll tap this at the end of the Google Meet to leave. Next to that, the camera icon turns your camera on your iPad on and off. If you have a slow internet connection, turning the camera off can give you a better experience during a video call. Your student's microphone should stay muted during the entire meeting unless the teacher asks them to unmute their microphone or they have a question. The three dots next to the mute microphone button will access other settings. In call message is a great place to enter any questions for the teacher. Tap it to open up the chat. After typing your question, hit the paper airplane on the right side of the comment bar to send the message. In the upper right hand corner, there's a volume icon. Tap it to adjust the volume coming from the Google Meet app. Next to the volume icon is a camera icon so you can change from your front facing camera to your rear facing camera. Tap on a tile on the right side of your screen to bring it as the main focus for the video conference. If I tap the letter B, it will bring my device on my screen to the focus of the conference. Your student should always tap the teacher to make them the focus of the video call. When the call is over, tap the red button in the bottom with the phone to hang up and leave the call. A quick review of the symbols in the app. This button will allow you to mute and unmute the microphone. If it is red, your microphone is muted. This icon will allow you to turn your camera on and off. If it's red, your camera is turned off. This icon will let you leave the Google Hangout. At the end of your Google Meet, tap this icon to leave the call. 